then known as the Palatinate. What was a Palatinate? That was, you could call it a very large principality or in what you've heard the guides called the Holy Roman Empire of the German nation. So this empire existed for almost a thousand years. Heidelberg was one of the secular states, it was the capital. Who used to live in that capital? It was also a very important person, a elector. Prince Elector was one of seven in that empire made up of ecclesiastical person, persons, the one in Heidelberg was worldly. So that Prince Elector, the seven of them could choose or elect the King of Germany, who very, very often went on to become the Emperor. So a very important position for hundreds of years until, of course, Napoleon, little French man, got here. <laughs> and that ended all of that power. That empire that I just mentioned was all dissolved and all abolished. And of course, Napoleon, he reshuffled all the regions and all the areas. But that empire went on very important for almost a thousand years. Quiet box just there. No, you? no, no. I had. To, I'm, I'm speaking now on the on the Thank coach you. microphone. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Heidelberg right, also yeah. very much, or used to be also very much connected with what was known as Romanticism. This was a period uh, that started at the beginning of the 1900s when after decades, years of dogmatism, there was a resurgence and interest again in music, in literature, in poetry, in art, and many writers, many poets, musicians, artists came to Heidelberg or started coming to Heidelberg only intending on spending a couple of days here and ended up spending weeks or even months so enchanted were they not only with the with Heidelberg itself but with the surrounding area and that's why still today most school children even if they've got nothing to do with Heidelberg everyone in Germany knows where Heidelberg is. All the school children in your music lessons, in your singing lessons, you learn a song about Heidelberg. Even if you don't live anywhere near Heidelberg, we didn't when our, our two were small and they had to learn the song, Ich hab mein Herz in Heidelberg for Laura. I lost my heart in Heidelberg. <laughs> but don't ask me to sing it, it's a long time since I practiced with them. And you'd really want to get off the bus real quick if I started. <laughs> Where's the bus stop? Let me out right now. <laughs> yeah, my kids learned. Each other. So all this part of Heidelberg, this is all new or relatively new. When we leave the bus parking, we'll be walking up into the old section of town. Nowadays around 150,000 people live 
in Heidelberg. Did you enjoy your time in Heidelberg? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Was it wonderful? Yes. Wonderful. <laughs> wonderful. So please do fasten your belt, seat belts. We're on our way to Miltonburg. It should be tight. Now we're on country roads now. <laughs> Take me home, yes. <laughs> we'll be driving through a couple of towns and then making our way through a different part of the deserted forest, the Alden Valley. So those will be winding roads. And the uh, journey should take about one and a half hours. It's 18 miles? Would anybody like some cold water? Yes. Cold yes. water? Oh, well, yes, I'll yes, start. Yes. We've got the fridge full. I'll start from the back. There's enough for everybody. We just left Heidelberg.
the right hand side in the yours there are world widely renowned orthopedic clinics. They have patients, people coming from all over the world to have their knee, shoulder, hip operations done here at Hydeburg with a lot of guests from the Middle East. Street. 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 Street.